Milton, get over here. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Mm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, hmm. Milton. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest. You'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. And you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John, Jim? Extra hard. Hey, hey, get over here. Mr. Dickens? Go find old Jim Milton here something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. Come on this way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Say, is that your family getting in the wagon up there? Ah, oh, believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? It, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we, uh, not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no, sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I hear that. Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton. How fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kind of... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. When you got here, them hired guns? I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellers. No. Oh. Where are you from, anyway, partner? Around, you know, up north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything, the ranches. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. See, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? <laughs> Good lord, no. Nothing like that. Now, just a ranch hand, then. Just a ranch hand. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. But most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, just sit down. I'll show you how. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. Hey, Paul. Is that your boy? Sure. Hey, Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. I never thought I'd see the day. That's Watch and learn, here. partner. Come on. We all got to How about you and the key. boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. Come on, son. How old are you now, Lancelot? Twelve, sir. Ain't that grand. It's such a fine name. I like it. I got it. I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. Now, it ain't pleasant work, but it's got to be done. Mr. Dickens said... I know what he said. We'll do it. Won't we, boy? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work, hard as it may be.
You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. No. John Marston, Terror of the Turds. Reckon even your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Hey. Hey. Where's Jack? Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want. Same as I've been. Won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Me too. <laughs>